here today at Rock Hut State Park, a beautiful park that I've taken photos of for many, many years. I was contacted by a company called Sol Digital. They do photo books, they do prints, but they wanted me to look at their high-end photo book line. I was a little reluctant, but I was trying to think of a good way to really show all of you that high-quality book, not just put a bunch of photos together that, you know, don't have any real meaning to them. So with this park, I've taken photos for a long time. I'm going to compile a group of those throughout the seasons, throughout the years to show you in the book. Also going to take one last photo right now with this Canon M50 11-22mm wide angle lens so I can put the last image in the book as that. Let's get started. I started with around 6,000 photos. I went through them twice and now we're down to 300 photos that we'll use for the book. Of course, we're not going to use all of them, but it's good to have a buffer of pictures in case ones don't work out with the certain crops. So we're going to have one to one crops. We're going to have two to one crops approximately in the book. I think it's just going to be easy just to go through them as we need them in the book itself instead of trying to edit every single photo. Okay, so I have ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate 2019, that is the editor that I use for my photos. Something that you can do is download the ICC profiles from the Sol Digital website. So you can see on the specific page, they give you these soft proofing profiles. It basically means that you can preview what it will look like on the paper. So we're doing the professional line photo books you have the acrylic glass cover that has its own profile the thing that at least i need to keep in mind is that it is the perpetual rendering intent and then also the photo book glossy is what i'm going to use for the interior pages when you download the files you just get a zip file it's basically a compressed file extract that then you have the icc profile all you have to do is right click on it in windows 10 and install profile at that point it will be in the system let's go to acdc so in the options color management you can see i already have the page type selected the Sol digital photo book and that's that glossy paper and then relative color metric you have the perpetual as well and I can easily switch to the acrylic. If I want to do that, and I'll just switch to perpetual. I'm going to show you quickly what that looks like. You have to check enable on the soft proofing box. You can see how it changed on the screen already. Let's go into view real quick. In the view, soft proofing, enable. It's this key right here, that bracket. So that's enabled. I'm going to deselect it. You can see a big difference so that's approximately what it'll look like with that acrylic glass over it so it definitely desaturates things i'm going to switch back to the interior page one go to relative in this case it's not nearly as extreme you can see in the tree area it does lose some contrast compared to the standard profile let's export a few photos just testing purposes so i can show you and then i'll do all of the actual edits file export in this case i have a few export profiles set up just going to use high quality jpegs that should be good enough here's the Sol digital software you want to download so you can make your book in this case we'll do the photo book We'll do the professional line and I'm going to do the 8x8, the small one. So this is not 100% sure, but I like the darker wood slate binding, but the black is nice as well. Let's start with that and do the glossy paper. It's going to do do it myself design. Of course, different prices for how many pages you can do. 26 to 130 and pretty much any count between that so we have our front cover and then we have the other pages see they're split up of course you can just drag pictures but it, it'll be a hassle to 
deal with it like that. What you can do is use these object boxes and resize these to the actual size of the page. And from that point you can actually just drop something in there and use these controls here to readjust. So if you want to scale it, something like that. That way you won't have any edge issues, I assume. For my book design, of course I have the cover, it has a unique size, but I put that on there. I don't need to make a layout for that. We also want a layout for a full page. In this case, it'll go between two pieces. So you get a large view, but you will have a split in the middle. Also, I want square photos, the one to one ratio. In that case, I'm going to do two object boxes so that we don't have any issues in the middle. You can see it is locking to the edges, which is what we want. Just do another one. So we've got that. We can save that design. So over here, it says save layout. There it is, and I'm going to switch this to basic. Put that in this layout, which I actually made previously, but if you want to make one yourself, you just press, press that plus button. So I'll do... And that'll show up there. But I'm going to use the original one. So that's set up. Save it, and you can see I actually have two in there now. Which I made one previously so so we can do from that point you can just click on it and you add those objects you can simply just drag items so that's really it for editing the book itself I'm not gonna do anything special I want it to use the entire piece of paper of course you can adjust things and have designs have text in there I don't want any of that. I want it relatively simple and to the point with these square crops and then the two to one. Let's just drag this in here. So there is the two to one ratio. You can adjust it as you like and then again zoom in or zoom out on that. So that's it for the editing stage. I'm gonna go through the book make it and then we'll get to actually sending it off to have it printed. Here's the final design Then it goes to the first page. As I mentioned I'm going to go with the 2 to 1 ratio and then we'll do 1 to 1. That's it. This is the final photo that I took when I recorded the opening sequence. All right, we're gonna go out of the preview mode and order that up. Simple, I guess, just click that button on the bottom. You can preview it again, change some options, add to basket, not gonna get that, but you can buy these boxes for the books, which is a nice addition. Looks good, 52 pages, let's go for it. Here is the actual book. It came from Germany with DHL shipping. Still pretty quick to ship and also it had the signature confirmation which is nice to see on expensive stuff like this. Now this is their professional line. It's not cheap but you can expect a certain level of quality just right off the bat. Quality wise in my opinion I'm now expert on quality of printing with photography. I don't do a lot. I've done a few photo books many years ago but they were nothing like this. They were just simpler, lower cost books. However, I look at the pages, they look extremely similar to the ICC profiled soft proofing that I did on the computer. They're beautiful, they're glossy, they lay pretty flat. The crease in the middle is so minimal that even with the full pages, there's just a slight line there. It looks good detail wise. It looks extremely similar, if not the same, that I saw on the computer. You can really look in there 
and see the details of the photos. So no issues with actual print pages. They're thick, they're nice, they look really good. The cover looks very nice, it's very unique. It is interesting to see the acrylic cover. With the soft proofing, still the same thing. It looks very similar to what I saw on the screen. I did boost the colors quite a bit and I think that helped out. So definitely try to use the soft proofing feature on your editing software to verify things. Quality wise with the cover, it looks pretty nice. I like it. One thing I would probably do with my design is just adjust this first page because there is a white border. It's just that it attaches to this first page. I think I would use this for text, for some type of description, or maybe a photo with white borders just so it's a little less noticeable. With the back, I really think it looks nice. It has that darker color from my choice of this faux wood texture. I really like the feel of this texturing, the application of whatever material it is, but it's very nice. The creases, the seams are really good on there, but no issues, of course, with the actual print quality. And I'm no expert, as I said, but I really do like it. It's going to be up to you if you want to spend this level of money on a book like this. In my case, I looked for something significant to me, something important to me with the 10 years of photos. I put in the time to make the book and I think it was worthwhile. All of the effort was well spent now that I see it in physical form. So maybe you can kind of treat yourself in situations like that where you have all of those photos from past years or you want to do a new project. I know it's going to be really up to you if you can think of something that works well with a book of this level. Of course, there are more professional reasons like wedding photography, which is probably one of the best use cases for this or any type of situation where you can actually sell higher end books. So that was a look at the Salt Digital Professional Line books. This is the 8x8 with the acrylic cover. Very nice, beautiful book. That's the gist of it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Sky Photography Bonsai. If you did enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. That helps me out a lot. Likes and shares help out a lot as well. Thanks again.